Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the congruence of figures. So what is congruence? Take two 10 rupee notes and compare them. They are exactly the same in shape and in size too. Even the 200 ml shampoo bottles of the same brand look exactly the same in shape and in size. The factories produce a single item in very large quantities. Every item is identical to each other. Like a factory produces tiffin boxes. The two tiffin boxes are exactly same in shape and size. We say these items are congruent. So two items are said to be congruent when they are identical in every way that is in shape as well as in size. Even geometric shapes can be congruent like these two quadrilaterals which are the four sided close figures look identical. Here these two triangles also look similar but thus looking similar means they are congruent. Congruent means equal in all respects. So if the two triangles are congruent then it means their all sides are the same. Their all the angles are same. Here triangle 1 and triangle 2 look the same but the second triangle is smaller that is its sides are of lesser length. So these triangles are not congruent. Here triangle ABC and triangle DEF look identical. All the three sides of the triangle ABC are equal to the corresponding sides of triangle FDE. Side AB has the same length as side DE. Side BC matches with the side EF. They are of same length. And side CA has the same length as FD. Even their angles can be matched this way. Angle A is equal to angle D. Angle B matches with the angle E. And angle C matches with the angle F. So the triangles ABC and the triangle DEF are equal in all respects, shape and size too. So they are congruent. Now how to determine the congruency of two figures? Is there a way? We know the two geometric figures are congruent if they coincide with each other exactly when one figure is placed over the other. This method of placing one object on the other to examine the congruency is called the method of superposition. Look here, we have two triangles, blue colored and the green colored. Are they congruent? We can superpose the blue triangle on the green triangle and vice versa. And if we see, they coincide with each other exactly. Hence, they are congruent. Are these two figures congruent? Look, if we rotate the second quadrilateral, which is green in color, and then place it over the first quadrilateral, then they will coincide with each other exactly and cover each other exactly so that the other is not visible. So, the superposition is one method. Is there any other way to determine congruence? Yes, there is. When comparing two geometric figures, we should try to find out whether all the sides, vertices and the angles match to the corresponding side, vertices and the angles in the second figure for congruence. Like here we have two triangles. They look little different. But if we look closely, what do we see? Side AB matches the side 
XY. Side BC matches side YZ and the side CA has the same length as side ZX. Not just the side, even the angles can be matched. Angle A matches with the angle X. Angle B matches with angle Y. And the angle C has the same measurement as the angle Z. We say the correspondence is ABC to XYZ as the vertex A matches with the vertex X. Vertex B matches with the vertex Y and the vertex C matches with the vertex Z. So the match we found can be written this way. AB matches with XY. We write it like this. AB double headed arrow which means correspondence or matches with XY. Same way BC matches with YZ and CA matches with ZX. So the angle A matches with angle X, angle B matches with angle Y, angle C matches with angle Z. In the two congruent figures, any side or angle matches to its corresponding side or the angle in the other figure. So angle A is corresponding angle of angle X in the two congruent figures. So when comparing the two geometric figures, we should try to find out a corresponding side or angle in the second figure for every side or the angle in the first figure. If everything in the first figure matches to a corresponding element in the second figure, then only they are congruent. Like here, in quadrilateral ABCD and the quadrilateral WXYZ side AB matches to the side WX and the angles A and B match to the angle W and angle X. But not all elements match to the corresponding elements in the second figure. Like side CD doesn't have a corresponding side in the quadrilateral WXYZ. If both the quadrilaterals are congruent, then side CD should have matched with the side YZ, which is not happening here. So, quadrilateral ABCD is not congruent to quadrilateral WXYZ. Now, let's compare the quadrilateral ABCD to the quadrilateral LMOP. Look, for every side and every angle in quadrilateral ABCD, we find a corresponding side or the angle in quadrilateral LMOP. For example, angle A matches with angle L. Angle B matches with angle M. Angle C matches with angle O. And Angle P matches with angle D. Also, every side in quadrilateral ABCD matches with the corresponding side in quadrilateral LMOP. AB is the corresponding side to LM. BC corresponds to MO. CD to OP and DA to PL. Thus we see the quadrilateral ABCD and the quadrilateral LMOP are congruent. So to sum up what we learned today, what are congruent figures? A geometric figure is said to be congruent to another geometric figure when both the figures are identical or equal in shape and size. So that was all about congruent figures. Bye-bye children.